Tonight, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first annual Braveheart Awards. Our dear Braveheart recipients, you transform us. Wisdom, guidance, and direction compels us into right action. And tonight, this that is going on here, it's right action. It is my great pleasure to present this very special award to my very best friend, Mary Fernow. Here's my hat, Braveheart. I accept the Braveheart Courage Award. I am Maya Angelou. Our first recipient. I love her acting. I love her acting. I love who she is. The first recipient tonight is Delta Burke, who is winning the Braveheart Compassion Award. Now, we've all loved her for her work in designing women. A wonderful, wonderful series that we cherish and still see. She won two Emmy nominations for that show, for Best Actress in a Comedy Series. Recently, she was on Drop Dead Diva with Liza Minnelli. Everyone loved her in Boston Legal. Still talking about it. And her award tonight is not just for her work, but her personal challenges that she overcame in such a dignified and grace-filled and honest manner. Overcoming depression and talking about it when people weren't, about weight issues, about diabetes. She went through all of it and was open and honest about it, and she he was true to herself. So we have as a presenter to talk about her is one of her co-stars from Designing Women, a very talented actor, a Broadway actor, a singer, and... Uh, had a wonderful time working with Delta. Put your hands together for Meshach Taylor. Meshach. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is really fantastic. I just wanted to say that this, y'all look really good tonight. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm turning into my southern self. I'm saying y'all and everything. But I, I hear we have a, a clip here tonight, too, Paul. Is that true? Yes, but I would like you to talk about okay, Delta first. Okay, you know. I, I, uh, oh, you know what? Let's, perfect timing. Thank you. We have a clip of, <laughs> of, yes, thank you. Thank you. You must be in, you're in show business. You're in show business. I've been doing This is not my first oh, time beautiful. in Dodge. No. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We're going to take a look at a clip, a favorite of many, with Delta and Meshach. How is it? Anthony, open up. I'm coming in. Ah! Oh! What? Man, I'm dying out here. I can't take it anymore. It's terrible. I'm shaking all over. You got to let me sleep in here. All right. I'm telling you, though, it's not much warmer. You can sleep over there as long as you stay on your own side. Don't worry about it, okay? No, it's just so cold, I can't even feel it. Man, these pantyhose are killing me. Oh. Now, let's just lie here and try to generate some heat, okay? okay. All right. But not too much. I don't like the sound of that. Suzanne. What? Get real. The reason that I ask you to get that clip is because uh, I came on to do the Designing Women program and it was a one-shot deal. I was just going to do a guest star thing. Uh, it was one of those things that you dream about because they kept calling me back every week. They did not give me a contract. Oh, I love to talk to actors and actresses because you know where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> But they did have me come back every week. This particular episode was very important because this gave me the opportunity to work directly with Delta. They, they knew that we had some kind of chemistry together, but they didn't know quite how it would work. This episode right here got so much feedback that it started the Anthony and Suzanne relationship that lasted and, until she left the show. And I just wanted to say, that from the first day that I hit the set, 
You know, when you come on the set and you're doing the first, well, guest star shot, you're only going to be there for a couple of days. The person who came up to me and embraced me and made me feel comfortable was Delta. Um, you know, you know how important that is. Now, I had already seen her on First and Ten on HBO and everything, and I'm like, who is this fine thing? You know. <laughs> And the fact that she was smiling at me really made me feel good. But as we started to talk, we found out that we had a lot in common. We, I, I went to school in Florida. She's from Florida. She's from Orlando. And I found out that this beautiful, this stunning woman was this really sweet little country girl from the swamps of Orlando. And it was a wonderful, wonderful thing because we made that connection. That collect connection has lasted all these years. The things that she had to contend with, I had never, I had no idea that these kinds of things would happen. Because you see a woman that beautiful and that talented and you think, well, no problems, right? Everything will, should go smoothly for this individual. There's, there should be no problems. To see the way that she was attacked because she gained a few pounds was absolutely incredible. Uh, I always would tell her, you know, I'm, I'm black, and we like women who have something to sit on. <laughs> so I didn't really see what the problem was. <laughs> I have to tell you that. But I know that there was because of the way she would come to me and she would be in tears, and it would be, We'd have to take time and talk about it. And I'd let her know that there were people out there that were very supportive of her and felt that she was beautiful in spite of what these fools had to say. And we would, talk, we would sit there and we'd talk until it was time to go out on stage and we'd do it. And every time she stepped out there, no matter how badly they made her feel that day, she always delivered 100%, as you well know. The best com comedic partner I've ever had to work with. I still miss her every time I step on stage. But this is uh, the kind of person that she is. And it's so wonderful to know, to look out and see all these people who appreciate what she's gone through. The depression. This is something that a lot of us in Hollywood deal with. You know, uh, it, it, it's, it's difficult being out here. It's difficult being in this business. It's difficult get changing in this business. Once you start one way, that's the only way people seem to ever want to see you. So the fact that she has remained strong through all this, the fact that she started her own clothing line, they were talking about her being too big, she started a clothing line and made more money than she ever made on Designing Women. Because <laughs> in spite of what they were saying in Hollywood, she was the size that everybody else in the country was. And so they, she looked good to them. She looked good to them, and she looked good to me, and I think she looks good to everybody who's sitting out there tonight, and I'd like to bring up right now so she can get her amethyst statue. Come to the stage, Miss Delta, Delta Burke. Delta Burke. I feel sort of naked up here anyway because, as me Shacks talked about, um, the problems with depression and that type of thing that I deal with, and... It was very scary trying to be here today. I, when I first heard that I was going to get this award, I was so excited and very honored and so scared because I don't know how to be out here with people anymore. It gets harder and harder after all the shit from the old days. <laughs> And um, all that I went through to try to be thin, and when I was thin, didn't realize that I was or that I was pretty. And now fighting it, and as we all know, my little visit to the loony bin. <laughs> Fascinating place. Really put your own problems in perspective. 
Now, I have what they call double depression. I think it needs, I don't know, a classier name or something, you know, that sounds like, you know, kind of intense instead of just double depression. But, you know, let me tell you, it sucks. So, you know, I'm kind of dealing with that double depression thing and a great deal of self-loathing, which I think this organization could really help me with because you all seem so damn happy. <laughs> so, I should maybe uh, tune in and look this thing up because I really got, I really want to work on that self-loathing thing. And then there's the... Just a dash of um, agor what is agoraphobia when you can't get can't get out of the house. You know, so it's a miracle I'm here. I actually made it unescorted because the hubby is shooting in Vancouver, and I haven't taken a pill yet. So, on that, I'm feeling really good. I want to say that the true meaning of compassion is my dear friend, Meshach Taylor. Because on Designing Women, I mean, nobody talked, nobody talked about depression back in those days or panic attacks. And I started having these horrific panic attacks that would hit out of nowhere and my whole body would go into this spasm and this horrific sound would come out and I, I looked and sounded like and felt like a wounded animal stuck in a trap. And my body would spasm. It was humiliating and it was degrading. And this beautiful man would come over to me and he would catch my body before I hit the ground. And he would pet me and take me back to my dressing room. He was such a friend to me. He is such a friend to me. He was my brilliant acting partner. Working with me, Shaq Taylor, it's like your cop partner who's got your back. Meshach had my back as an actor and as my friend. And I want to thank you for that, baby, so much. <laughs> and um, I want to thank you all for giving me this award because all I have tried to do is I've tried to stay strong the only way I knew how to stay strong, which sometimes was just talking about whatever the problem was and trying to share with others. And, okay, I'm a big girl. We'll make big girl clothes. Um, I don't, you know, because I was pissed. All those little A-cup brassieres that had the really cute designs. <laughs> And the rest of us just got beige. <laughs> you know? And so now you should see some of those Delta Burke Braziers, baby, because they got some hot shit going on. And, and, and I got those little thong undies, and I got all that stuff going. I mean, so I won't wear some of it, but I got it going. It's for sale. Um, but, you know, I've tried, I've tried to be strong for myself, for my friends, for my husband. You guys are very inspiring. This is a wonderful group. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Drake, so much for what you have done. Um, thank you all for honoring, honoring me with this. And uh, I will try to be better and, and learn more from all that I'm learning from you people right here, right now. Thank you.
Valtteri, your award is right back here. It's too heavy to lift. There's not a person in this civilization could actually lift it. <laughs> except you, except you, except you. <clears throat> Delta, can we say one thing before you go? Delta, you're going to hold that for a second. Thank you for starting us off this evening in such an open, heartfelt, honest, real way. We are grateful for your artistry. We are grateful for who you are. And we're so grateful for you receiving this Compassion Award. Thank you. Thank you, Delta.